Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Thriving Talk. Hope everyone has enjoyed the last episodes. This is another Dats and Edition in which me, Tim, gets a chance to ask my dad Tinku Thompson questions. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. Yes. All oh, fine. Yep. All right. A reminder to all our listeners, Thriving Talk is available on all major platforms like iTunes, Google Podcasts, Podcast, Spotify, YouTube, and way more. So we're going to get right into it. So today we're going to talk about the title is kind of a different type of title. The title is Run to Win, but I know our viewers will understand the more we talk about it. So I'm, I'm that's my first question I'm going to ask. So in messages, and even you mentioned this, you mentioned a lot that we're in a race in this Christian journey, and we have to run that race. So what does that really mean? Okay. Uh, okay, let me read another couple of verses from the Bible. <laughs> that will answer that question straight away. I'm reading from First Corinthians chapter 9, verses 24 to 27. It says, Do you not know that in a race all the runners run, but only one gets the prize? Run in such a way as to get the prize. Everyone who competes in the games goes into strict training. They do it to get a crown that will not last, but we do it to get a crown that will last forever. Therefore, I do not run like someone running aimlessly. I do not fight like a boxer beating the air. No, I strike a blow to my body and make it my slave, so that after I have preached to others, I myself will not be disqualified for the price. So when we say about race and we are in a race, it's like uh, in our Christian life, we are consistently uh, in a battlefield and we can become distracted. Uh, and we can look away from the goals or we may be distracted from our goals. And uh, one of our key goals is to become like Christ. Um, you know, so basically, if we get distracted, what is going to happen is we will not be able to run the race with full diligence and we won't be able to win this race. Um, I heard about, read some time ago that in the Boston Marathon, uh, about 20K plus complete the form. Okay. To like 20,000 plus sign up. sign up to run. But 40. Sorry, 4,000 opt out even before the race begins, <laughs> right? Some yeah. drop out during the race, right? Yeah. So um, this marathon is not a sports event. It's a yeah. sport. Like you have to do individually. Each person will have to run for themselves. Like you're not on a team. Yeah, it's not like a sprint or, you know, a relay kind of, you know, where you pass the baton to somebody and they will yeah. run for it, you know. It's, it's like you will have to run for yourself. You will have to finish it. No one else can do it for you. See, winning and losing is totally dependent on an individual, whether they will run and finish the race or not. So in the same way, Christian life is also like that, where we have to run our race. Um, and then for that, you will have to have self-discipline. You have to, you know, uh, be diligent. And as it says that, uh, run in such a way that you get the price. Right, you know, sometimes uh, people are running as if they don't, they are not interested in anything, any price, but they are just running for, I don't know, for someone else. No, but in our Christian walk, we need to run it to win the price, um, and we need, sometimes we we'll have to go through strict training, um, and uh, we are not boxing in the air, we are not yeah. doing things aimlessly. We need to be diligent, and we need to be running the race. So that's what it means to run the race. And uh, and I will just say that run to win. Okay. Do not run to lose. <laughs> yeah, so run to win. Yeah, so you started on my the next question. So like, how should we win and w- why should we? I mean, how, why sh- how should we run and why should we? Yeah, so how should we run is um, we, should, we should run diligently. So let's take an example of marathon. Number one, yeah. you will have to be very conscious. You, you can't be like running full steam from the beginning and, you know, collapse, right? If, if somebody was leading by a big margin, they collapse in the on, on halfway, they're not going to win the prize. So you have to maintain a pace. You have to be consistent 
and uh, you have to make sure that you finish the race. So a couple of things I want to remind you back from the verse I shared with you earlier is like, first of all, we need to run to win the prize. Right? Sometimes uh, in our life we can lose the desire to win because we are distracted, we are consumed by so many things. Right? But then we need to be make, you know, we need to be run, always have this mind that I need to win. Win means not to defeat, we are not competing against anyone. We need to individually finish this race. We have to s exercise self-control. What does it mean? It is easy to get indulged in the things of this world. There will be a lot of distraction. A lot of things are trying to uh, turn you away. Um, I think it's in Second Timothy chapter 2, verses 4, where Paul tells Timothy that uh, we should not be entangling in civilian affairs. A soldier doesn't entangle in civilian affairs. Because um, that is his not goal, goal of his life. So we need to be exercising self-control in our life. And the most important thing is we should know why we are running. Right? So a lot of times people don't know. They are just running. It's like, mm. you know, sometimes, I don't know whether you've seen this. Uh, I've seen some videos where uh, a crowd was walk going somewhere. Yeah. And uh, all of a sudden some people asked what happened and nobody said anything. So they also joined. After some time, it became a big crowd. <laughs> so then finally somebody asked, why are you all going? Yeah. And the majority of the people don't know where they yeah. are going and why are they going. They just follow. The they way. just follow. And there is another story which goes like this. Uh, there was a thief. Uh, you know, I'm, it's in a different context. Not like the context here in the U.S. But maybe an olden times context. Uh, a thief came to a house and had a dog in the community, you know, mm -hmm. in the neighborhood started making noise, you know, making, barking, and, you know. So immediately the neighborhood uh, dog started making noise. So after uh, like 15, 20 minutes, everyone else stopped. But this original first one who did, he continued because he saw the thief coming the in. The dog? Yeah, the dog. Oh, okay. <coughs> you got it? Oh. Yeah, yeah. I thought, it was, I thought you said neighbor, which meant I thought Oh, in the neighborhood, person. there were, I'm just talking about dogs. Yeah, right? yeah. There are many dogs, and you know, every house had a dog outside. You know? Yeah, yeah. And all, all the dogs started making noise. So they're all of a sudden, like for 15, 20 minutes, like they were all making sound. But after that, everybody stopped, only one left. Because he acts the one who actually saw, saw it. it. So if you go and ask all these people, why are you, bark, you know, making sound? They will say, oh, because we heard because somebody. He heard yeah, so the same way, we, we should not be, we should know why we are running, right? Um, you know, there are, because a lot of times we, we are not focused because we don't know why we are <laughs> doing it. Um, the other thing it says about disqualification, right? What do you mean by disqualification is, um, if we don't play according to the rule, you will be disqualified, right? So... Uh, you you go to run a marathon and uh, you take this uh, what do you call scooters or uh, you take a bicycle or electric uh, <laughs> bike or something like that right and you are saying I, uh, everyone else will run on their feet but i'm going to use this will they allow you no they will no. disqualify you or you hit somebody else yeah. you push people so that you can yeah so we have to g play according to the rule but basically what does it mean is uh, we have to do in things in a, such a way that we don't get disqualified. So it is very important. We can get really distracted very fast. We have to stay focused. We have to stay focused. So what are the dangers or challenges in this race? Or yeah. What are things we yeah, can... Yeah, I think I already mentioned some of the things. But the main thing is we can be distracted. We can lose focus. We, we, we can lose the desire to win. We can lose the desire to finish. We may just think that, oh, well, whatever it is. And uh, it's, it's simple, simple, right? So we, we, let's, let's take another example. Let's say you are, you're, you're, <laughs> you're learning some instrument. Yeah. You, know, you go to the class and you just run away from, you know, you just come back and don't do any practice. What is going to happen? You're not going to learn. Yeah, I, I, I remember a story like many, year, many, many years ago. I went to learn Greek. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know whether I ever told you. No so what happened is I went, this was an old uh, teacher, very old teacher, uh, very good teacher, I think. And there were many kids. I think I was the one who was at that time from that background. You know, I, At that time, I haven't studied 
as much as I have studied now. So I went there, and um, uh, this teacher was very, <laughs> very good in. Okay. But uh, he he was mm-hmm. like giving lot of things, and then there was a book, and we were supposed to learn everything and come next week. So some other other people who are with me, they they had different backgrounds. So somebody, some people knew French, and some people knew other other languages. Or I don't know whether they were really having some background, but the the next week comes. they all are like you know saying stuff but i was so busy those days that i after the yeah. class yeah. before the next class i will take up the book and you know look at stuff but i am not getting right you know understanding you know, yeah you, you know i only un- learned at that time only alpha beta gamma like the <laughs> strange thing that's all so we went there as he started getting into the other other things after i didn't survive long because i basically felt very ashamed that when they were asking questions or they were going around like i'm like i'm the only one who is blank and i'm not understanding anything so in in few weeks i think 3 4 weeks i survived but then it came to a point that the uh, the gap between me and them was so big that you know i was feeling very very yeah. really lost so the first week we we were on the same yeah. level but after some so so i i, I stopped going but Uh, I, I just decided that <laughs> I should stop now, otherwise it will be like he will kick me out. <laughs> <laughs> so the problem there is not the teacher, right? Because if the teacher was a problem, everybody would have been struggling. Not But the right. problem is, I was, th- I felt like I was the only one who was struggling that much. And the primary reason was I was not coming back and uh, putting lot of effort into it. Now, if it was today. i would have approached in different way i would really make sure that you know time is built in every day to do it but at that time i didn't think that much plus i i just went out of pleasure to learn you know it was not like i was going to bible school seminary or anything yeah. but then later i learned a little bit more but what i'm saying is at that particular time why i failed is because i first of all there was no real reason to learn right number two i didn't know like you know but i just felt like okay it's good to know yeah, greek yeah. you know biblical greek you know so sometimes we we can um, have that as a problem where uh, we are not diligent in you know doing it and that can be a real problem so we need to be really careful in in, ta- in times like that so um, and as i said you know this whole desire to win finish if that's not there then it's a problem then we will be just going with the flow of things that's all and then we, we will struggle in the end yeah cuz we don't have like a focus we we won't have a focus we don't have a purpose we will not uh, know why we are doing it and i think uh, what connects us as children of god is the eternal reward so if we don't have the price in front of us so if i tell you that uh, you know you learn psalms 119 and i will tell you thank you <laughs> 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 or I tell you that you say learn Psalm 119. I will take you to or for uh, and buy ice cream, or I offer you something big, right? Yeah. So you will definitely be more motivated if I tell you. I will say a yeah, thank you. You you will maybe you will learn, but you won't be that much motivated. But yeah. when you look at the reward, you will be motivated. Sometimes I'm not saying that everything we sh- do should be motivated just by, by reward, reward, but. but but the reality is that uh, god has promised us reward if we are diligent enough to do things so so we should be we should not shy away from that right so we should know what is the price which is in front of us that's what paul says here so understanding that we should be diligent enough to run to win finish the race which is in front of us so why do why don't people think like why do you think people don't think that they are in a race like um uh, because priorities and we live in a sinful world sin is a reality and uh, the enemy wants us to be distracted actually right. god wants us to be focused and uh, finish our race enemy wants us to be you know paul also say something like you know this the 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 enemy should not defeat us we are not unaware of his schemes so he has schemes to distract us push us in a different direction but we need to be very diligent and very careful and very much focused in our approach it's like you can't it's like uh i don't know how to phrase it but 
yeah we, there is a there is a real battle right yeah and so because of that people can be lost and sometimes uh, their job different things they get addicted to something um they are attracted to something you know all those things can uh, make them lose focus from the race so they don't really have that priority to priority yes yes and they can just be moving on with uh, things so i think the the key thing for us to understand is we are in this race we need to finish it and uh, we need to follow the word of god and uh, make sure that we fulfill the purpose which is in front of us and uh, don't be like boxing in the air <laughs> and uh, you know we are not running aimlessly we have a goal of our faith a rich welcome into the kingdom of god that is all promised in the bible so we need to make sure that we are not disqualified for the prize so do you have any final thoughts or ending thoughts you want to say yeah in in summary for this topic i would say always remember we are in this race yeah always remember there will be challenges always remember there will be fight always remember that uh, we will be dist- there is a possibility that we will be distracted temptations can come in our way but um, you know marathon runners often often you know reach the point where they wonder whether they can keep going remember that right they yeah. get tired they hit the wall they doubt they can finish the race their muscles burn with pain their strength is gone they feel defeated right but as we run our christian life we can reach that point too and uh, faced with our sin we begin to doubt god's forgiveness well i really will i really finish the race and receive the prize or are my sins too great we think about those things and faced with the burning pains and troubles of life we begin to doubt god's love why doesn't god take uh, this away from me we feel defeated so at those times when you hit the wall you know we need to turn back to the words that holy spirit gave apostle paul to write in romans chapter 8 verses 31 to 39 you can read that sometime and believe that in christ jesus you are more than a conqueror for in christ jesus he is our lord and there is no accusation that can rob us of his forgiveness and no force can separate us from his love so yeah. what can separate us from the love of god nothing yeah so we need to have that assurance too of the forgiveness we can't just let uh, all these thoughts weigh in our mind and you know we should not be getting into a self pity self blaming experience but you know as paul says forgetting what is behind i press on towards the goal which is in front of me i run the race and uh, he actually says i have run my race and i kept the course and i finished my race so we need to have that attitude in our lives so always remember run to win not run to make waste time right yeah don't don't just uh, you know wander around here and there thinking that okay everyone else is running we should know why we are running yeah we have to have that yeah. like don't be like don't be like those people who are like going in that <laughs> crowd right <laughs> yeah yeah cuz you you don't know what's your end goal or you don't know what you're trying for yeah but as a christian we should know what it is and we should be diligent and run the race with full force Right. the strength and the energy which god gives us so thank you for sharing to all our listeners um this is a topic where it what it really means is we have to keep on running diligently and per, like persevere and we should know what our end goal is and as a christian w- like we know that god will power us and in this race we have lots of challenges but we have to continue to run and persevere Um to all our listeners thank you for listening in the coming weeks we'll be coming back with more dads and additions of thriving talk and I'll be asking more questions as we said in the beginning this episode is available on many different platforms do not forget to follow or subscribe to the thriving talk podcast on your favorite platform to receive new episodes as they get released also remember that my dad has a newsletter that goes out every other week and that he shares a lot of good information the link to that newsletter will be in the show notes feel free to subscribe to that newsletter we'll be back but until then remember that i mean sorry remember that we should know that we are in a race and we have to continue to run to win yes thank you all god bless you always be focused and run to win god bless you